Okay, end of the week now. July 24th is a Saturday. Just want to do a weekly recap over this past week. I only had four trades. I didn't trade the last three days. I only I stopped uh, Tuesday. We'll go over why and everything. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into this. Okay. So, the week started off with a HR. Was that the 19th? Yes. Yeah, so I was just looking for that high daybreak, open price reclaim. So this one I was, my entry was actually pretty good down here in the low fours. Oh no, that was MDIA, my bad, right? Let me just check my entries. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different one. So we got, yeah, I'm picking up an RPO. Um, so we got 492 to 5.5. So just right at the end here, high daybreak. Or no, this was a, a open price into high day at 508. I remember it now. Okay, so open price was 493, high day 508. So I saw it kind of stacked, reclaiming VWAP, failing to break down. It's gapped up in the right sector and decent float compared to the volume it was doing <coughs> excuse me the volume it was doing that day so just figured it could offer a squeeze at least test six ish I thought I was gonna test this junk right here because that one last top up on top just seemed like a little fake out most of the resistance in the mid fives but it kept going so it didn't really matter got to the eights the other day, but it got to seven on Monday. Or Tuesday, yeah, it got to sevens. Um, so that was that. And then after that, I had MDIA, which was a multi day bounce play. Am I right? Yes, I was just looking for the reversal. Got a green day here, 19th. Okay, ready five minutes. So with this guy, or is it? Or is it? Maybe it was not what I thought. Okay, yes. So this was a uh, um. <clears throat> I remember this now. So yeah, this was a multi-day bounce. It was filling the breakdown, which if I could just figure out the day, oh, on the way into the last week. Yeah, this little squeeze ended up failing. So I was looking for that reversal after we have this huge run up. We get the dip, shorts take over. I'm just looking for shorts covering and some buyers coming back in. So we get a quick little reversal over to 730s here. 735 was the high. Ended up getting to 837. It was just a quick little little squeeze um but yeah it did offer a solid profit angle for sure so yeah when you get that failure breakdown it comes back to that high day break that's the entry and this time it did not take off we did get a quick perk but it didn't sustain itself it just failed so this guy i'm still I'm actually kind of looking for a Another multi-day bounce, a strong one, or I could just be totally off and it's just not gonna make it. But yeah, so those were my trades for the week. Actually, I'm missing one. This was one for two in RBO. <clears throat> I was looking for a late day squeeze, considering it just has awful history. It is in the right sector with a low float. The history is just awful. It's a lot of overhead resistance. So I just was waiting for shorts to get trapped in there so we get a short squeeze and that's exactly what happened I did miss time it one time okay I'm gonna work okay so here we have um, the open price was 408 on this one I kept chopping around that area came back and held VWAP I took a little loss here after it failed here but it actually double bottomed at 490 or sorry 390 and it came right back, so I started getting in again. And then it just took off. Um, 
so could have got more size, but it is what it is. Made up my loss and way more. So it was about sixteen hundred dollars here. So good lesson on that one. I have a video lesson on it. But so those are my four trades for the week. There was not much else. There was a lot more spikers, but honestly, if you had rules, I don't think you traded that much. Traded these spikers that much because I don't know what you're gonna be trading. Sure, you get this beautiful spiker, but this thing's up like two hundred something percent on the day. If I remember, what started in the threes, ended in the nines or tens. Okay, yeah, so we're up around two hundred percent. Sure, it's holding up. That's great, but it just has so much range for it to just dive down, I'm not willing to risk it, I'll wait for a sympathy play or I'll play it the next day, if it really fails to break down, but I didn't really see it overnight here, even though it did hold up quite beautifully, honestly, um, but yeah, so my rules kept me on the sideline with this one later on, and I didn't like it too much early on, I did miss it, but it was a slow mover, so... I never really regretted this one. I barely looked at it. I just kind of looked at it to see how much higher it could go. Now we're going to be waiting for a multi-day bounce. Healthcare run. Um, so, that's Neuro since when? Tuesday, right? Wait. Tuesday started off on 20th. Um, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, that took off. Nothing really special. I didn't really see any great plays to on that like profit off that one. So that was that. Okay. S C K T. The gap and crap yesterday. As you can see with the history. Um it isn't a good sector. Low float. But you can see the personality of this stock is to gap up and just fail. So shorts are really keeping an eye on this one early on probably when they get this huge gap up. It never stood a chance to hold and reverse and potentially squeeze some out. Shorts really just packed it and took it down. Um, not much buyers to hold it up. So... That's that stock, so you gotta really, really wait for late day for stocks that have the history, the tendency to fail after a day, just one and dones. If, because shorts are looking at that and they're thinking that pattern will hold. Once it fails to hold, it's gonna reverse, just like how I was looking at, was it NRBI? Shoot. Oh, this could work. Yeah, NRBO. Awful history. Which is just looking for that late day squeeze to tr to collect all the shorts. And if it failed to break down, you get a short squeeze. And that didn't happen with whatever you call it. Lower it. Show this one again. Yeah, see this one you get a fast, quick squeeze. Still end up failing, but you at least get the shorts getting squeezed. They'll end up taking over at some point. But you get a solid profit angle. Uh, SCKT. Different sector, but same pattern almost. So, could have been nice if it held up a little better and then squeezed later in the day. That didn't happen. Um, but yeah, that, I totally ignored that. We had another solid spiker in the healthcare sector. IPA. Going from the 7s to 16-ish. So, one day spiker here. Um, probably will look for a multi-day bounce. Even though it didn't fit the criteria to it with this one I just noticed that in the hot sector stocks with a lot of volume even if they spike for one day they could possibly have or not necessarily one day but less than 300 uh, percent they can still have the reversal so I'm gonna keep an eye on IPA it's another spiker NRXP that was another beautiful one that I did not play yesterday even though it had nice open price play over 2020 Consolidate around that price the whole time. Lower float. 
healthcare sector doing insane volume. Easy call. Um, I did hesitate on my buy on that high daybreak yesterday, just because it's something I've talked about before. Nothing I've tracked yet. Just something I've noticed. Um, high daybreaks do sometimes work after hours if it's a stock that's kind of hot on the day or in the right sector, low float. Um, so this one we got a test of the see your high. This shows that it's an all time high, but it isn't on my phone with TDM and trade. Shows the high is like the 70s. So, yeah, that was a little confusing. But still, we got to 30. This will probably keep going. I will look for this to be a multi day bounce after a red day. But, missed my opportunity on this one. It was a little choppy. So, didn't miss a whole ton. It did, it would have had some stress for sure. But overall, the trend was holding and the pattern was pretty good. Um, UPC, that was a breakout I missed on Thursday for an overnight. Just didn't really like the way it finished. Just this price action, I don't know, the volume. Wasn't a huge fan of it. Even though we do, I was looking for that breakout of the 380s. It closed right at 383. And it just took off for a dollar plus a share after hours. And didn't offer that in the morning. So take your gains when you got them. Don't get greedy. Um, let's pop it through these here. Semi, that was a decent one. Got a break over six. That I only see. Could have been a pre-market breakout. I didn't really like the way it moved for it. It was just really choppy and slow, so I didn't really like it. So I decided to wait for a breakout when we could short squeeze, or we can squeeze shorts a little more aggressively. Cause still here, I think it might be a little early on, but yeah, it ended up taking off from the fours, got to the sixes on the seven. Um, yeah. That one could have been. See, a lot of potential plays, but nothing I'm super comfortable with. And you got to recognize that in the week when. So, and then it was like kind of slow. There, was, there weren't that many socks up in the morning. There were a couple Neuro, NRBX. But I didn't really feel like the momentum we had like just a month ago. Even though we do have these crazy squeezers, my rules and patterns kind of kept me on the sideline most of the week. I did not feel comfortable with anything. So we finished the week three for four. Around two thousand bucks. Not too bad. An awful week and still better in the first two weeks. So this month could have been way better if it was if I really just fixed these first two weeks up. Last week was not bad at all. I was killing it. Uh this week not bad either. Just not as eager to trade. I just I just want to be more safe. After my stupid trade on YVR last week, which I have record, um, went over. I didn't record the trade. <clears throat> I just don't want to risk anything anymore. I'm just kind of over it. So, that's that. Week is over. We're going to study up and prepare for this next week. Um, yeah, I, I, I just wanted to play it safe. I didn't see anything I like. I didn't want to gamble. I just want to be picky. So, might have been too picky this week, but that's better than just trading everything, if we're being honest. I'd rather play it safe than just go for whatever play is up that I think could reverse and have a short squeeze. So, that's the week of July 19th, 2021. Um, still pretty hot. Information, sec information tech sector and healthcare stocks are still going. Uh, gonna keep looking for breakouts, low float, doing volume, ideally with news, holding trend, breaking out. Just gonna keep looking for all that. So yeah.